hello everyone. So in this uh, video, we have uh, trust with inclined uh, support. Uh, we have uh, trust has uh, three members. So the first step, we should give the number for each member. This is number one. This is number two. And this is number number three. Um, second step, we should give uh, the direction uh, to to know which is the near node and which is the far node. So for number one, I will use this direction. Number two, from one to join number two, and number number three from joint number three to join number one. The second step, I should give the number for uh, for uh, global system. So join number one. This is number one. This is number two. Global number three and the global number four. Global number five and the global number six. Uh, and also we have the support here. As you see in the joint uh, number two, we have an inclination with uh, 45 degree. Um, actually, the system or actually the matrix is uh, a little bit different from, uh, especially for uh, for this case and for the member. He, uh, sorry, it shared. Oh, it has um, an inclination support. Like here, for example, as you see, the inclination is on member number one and also in member number two because these two members share with one point or one node and that node, it has a inclination by uh, 45 degree. So, here I will uh, show how we can solve the member number one. Um, actually, the matrix here is different. Let me to show the the rule or the members of matrix. This is the matrix that I will use it uh, for inclination members only. That means in this example we have uh, member number one and member number two both of them they have uh, an inclination sub an inclined support okay so for these members we should use this matrix okay and uh, for member number one actually we don't have any um, any uh, any client support um, sorry uh, I'm very sorry uh, for member number three this is uh, member number three. We don't have any uh, inclined support, okay? Only for member number one and member number two. Um, actually, for if we look at to the rule, we have here um, Linda X and Linda Y, um, but we we add it for the old matrix you can go to previous uh, videos uh, we have here a new things is linda x double prime and linda y double uh, prime okay so how we can solve or how we can find uh, linda x double prime and linda y double double uh, prime uh, as you know in the uh, previous uh, videos uh, the linda x equal x far minus x near over l the x far is the global system on x direction for far uh, joint and xn the global system on uh, x direction for near point and or near, or, uh, near uh, node and the L is the length of uh, member but for uh, for Linda uh, X double prime for example it's equal 
linda x double prime equal the cosine theta x double prime. That means um, you will take the cosine of the angle that causes the incline. For example, here we have in this example the <clears throat> the the angle is uh, twenty uh, forty five degree. Okay, so linda x double prime equal cosine forty five degree equal zero point seven zero seven. And linda y double prime equal cosine theta y double prime. That's mean um, linda y double prime equal cosine um, 135 degree equal minus 0 0.707 how we can find this angle 135 degree uh, if we see here for this figure okay this is okay this is our member and here the node that has uh, an inclined support here with um, 45 uh, degree um, that means it will be um, uh, causes to rotation or rotate the the system or the global system by uh, 45 degree um, actually the our original shape is look like this this is x double prime and this is y double prime when we rotate this point okay this point I want to rotate by uh, 45 degree it will be like this this is x double prime and this is y double prime it's actually the uh, mathematical way not engineering way so that's mean this angle or this uh, in inclined support uh, pushed or rotate the 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 member by uh, 45 degree so this is it will be uh, 45 degree and this is already is 90 degree so here it will be uh, just uh, some uh, summation the angle uh, from uh, y double prime until uh, y x uh, prime that's mean we have here uh, uh, this is our uh, our global system uh, from uh, to x double prime is 90 degree plus uh, 45 degree with this it will be after rotate it will be this x prime okay and this it will be the y prime excel okay so plus 90 equal 135 degree for uh, y double prime okay then uh, just substitute your values for delta uh, linda x uh, double prime and linda y double prime and also for linda y and linda x in this matrix this one okay um 
this is for member number one okay and uh, for member number two is same also uh, same uh, how we find the angle uh, here same way Linda uh, Linda X double prime equal cosine theta X double prime equal zero point zero seven one and Linda Y double prime equal cosine theta Y double prime equal minus zero point seven zero seven one okay uh, you can find uh, by your own we calculate the the angle the, the angle sorry it's um, same way just rotate the global uh, system by uh, 45 degree and also substitute by the same matrix shape uh, for k2 okay uh, then uh, about member number three we don't have any in uh, any client support you can use the the only uh, linda x and linda y and substitute your value uh, after that summation your values this is k matrix and this is force matrix and this is displacement matrix okay this is k11 k12 k21 and this is k22 uh, for the force we have uh, three forces noun and three forces unknown um, if we go back to first slide here uh, we have only 30 kilonewton as I when I make this is the global system number one and this is two so the force is on horizontal direction we have a 30 uh, 30, uh, 30 K Newton and on uh, on Y direction uh, global system it will be zero we don't have any force and also we have here because we have a uh, support uh, any client support it's make displacement for us so it will be calculate as we have here in this um, on X direction we have uh, a force you can see that from the general or the general or total uh, matrix uh, we have uh, zero the inclination uh, inclination and uh, we should find the displacement because uh, any force that you apply on the sh on the truss is actually make some uh, displacement here okay so that it's uh, calculate and enter our matrix um, then you should find the the values of uh, D1 and D2 and D3 so here the values of D1, D2 and D3 um, finally you should uh, find the reactions force uh, reaction force actually here this one the F F4, F5 and F6 uh, because it's uh, these support are uh, fixed so we don't have any displacement uh, so we put here zero 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 for their displacement and easy to to find the F I can give to you here the rule how we can uh, find F you can also go to uh, go back to you uh, to my uh, previous uh, videos uh, F equal uh, AE this is constant over L should be find for uh, depend, depend on the 
on um, how can I say it's like um, depends on your member okay because you should find the reactions on each members um, minus Linda X Linda Y Linda here also minus Linda X and Linda Y uh, time DNX DNY DFX and DFY okay uh, just uh, substitute your values and we will you will find the values of F4 F5 and F6 Thank you for uh, watching, kindly watching this video.